Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, it's Arad and this video is going to be all about Aquarius uh, Sun, Moon and also Aquarius Rising uh, Tarot reading for the month of November 2022nd and uh, if you do enjoy the channel, its content uh, all that you gotta do to support us guys is just leave a like and uh, subscribe for the channel itself and uh, if you do want to have a personal reading uh, that is going to be all about you and uh, the situations you are facing you can go to my uh, website which link you're going to find in the description uh, down below so with that said uh, let's do the cut and see what we and i'm saying we because i am rising aquarius and that reading is going to show what i will have to deal with into the upcoming month so we are going to have uh, the first card, very optimistic one, uh, that's going to be the Four of uh, the four of Wands. Uh, followed by the second card here. Oh my God, it's going to be a hell of a month. Uh, we do have uh, the Sun. I'm quite excited because the Scorpio reading showed... Mm. All right, oh my God, we do have the Fool as well. And uh, the final... Oh. The final primary card, uh, Nine of Pentacles, I, I don't even have, my God, I don't even have any words to describe. Uh, I just, just for, as an overview to the upcoming, uh, to the upcoming month of November, to the month of November, depending when you watch that reading. Uh, those cards are showing that um, Aquarius literally I don't even have a word to describe it. Well, we literally are gonna end up with, with, with the grand prize. Yeah, that, that's the best way to describe it, although it, it still cannot wrap itself around it. But um, it's, we are going to be given the grand prize. I'm so looking forward for November. Starting up the month, a uh, four of wands, uh, which is going to be catalyzed with the two of pentacles here. So the start of the month is going to be very strong. Some star signs have it stronger than us. But uh, for us, the start of the month is going to be all about uh, uh, reaching out to the next level, so to speak, to the next level into friendship or to the next level into our job. So promotions um uh, changing up the stage of for example friendship into dating experience you know changing up say a stage of our living circumstances as well whatever whatever we're trying to improve is going to improve at the start of the month of november and the best thing about these cycles of developments which are going to finalize and move on to the next level at the start of november is going to be that we did it in a way that we have addressed every important detail. So that what that literally means is that moving on into the future, we are not going to face uh, submerged, how can I put it into words, or dormant rather, a problems, problems that we did not address back in the days and uh, now we have to deal with them tenfold that that's not going to be the case here we literally are entering clean into the next stage into the next level of our uh, enterprises now the four of wands it's a card that gives a promise that whatever we toiled about something that we put really hard work behind it's finally coming to fruition so say you really um, chase that woman or chase that man you wanted to be together you put really really hard work behind and, and you stayed friends although you always looked at them as something more 
finally they can look you as a something more as well or they will look you as a something more as well and there you go you are entering into the next stage of of, of your interaction with uh, with that person that could also reflect your job as well you really wanted that place and you worked toward it you never gave up and finally you know that place can be yours at the start of the month of november it's just the application of those couple of cards are are immense they are literally they can relate to almost anything that happens in today life uh two of pentacles being next to the four of wands here as a circumstance as a catalyst to the card itself it points that we are um uh, well, the first thing that came to my mind is on the right track, but that's not exactly what I mean here. Uh, the, the Two of Pentacles kind of points that the, the, the way we do things, although we can improve on our ways, like we can improve on, on how we tackle with our tasks at work, how we address, you know, our love life, uh, how we address our friends and so on, they can be better, right? But what we do currently, it's also efficient enough to get us to the next stage. Uh, how easy? Well, that's going to be relative, you know, for some people easier than others. But uh, that is a moment like, you know, uh, uh, like on a, on a threshold where it's good if you see, you know, where you can improve in your ways. But if you don't, that's not going to be the end of the world either. I mean, pretty much that's that upgrade that we are going to have at the start of the month. It's pretty much given because we did 99.99% up until that point and the final 0.001% it's it, it's going to be finalized at the start of November and uh, right after that which is towards the middle of the month the sun card manifests and is catalyzed uh, by the seven of wands um, now seven of wands usually very negative card um, or rather like unpleasant card like an opposition and besides it's a hidden opposition now if you observe you don't know what who is sitting behind those uh, ones here at the bottom but in this follow-up and as a catalyst to the sun actually it turns out to be very pleasant or it turns it to be very very pleasant so what happens towards the middle of the month it is that we are going to enjoy pretty much growth everywhere we go and everything we touch to we can expect towards the middle of the one the month our business to grow our jobs to grow uh, our friendships to grow, social circle to grow, relationship to grow, and um, literally anything we as a person to grow as well. Having the seven of ones being there, it kind of means that finally we can end up wars in a sense of that, you know, someone that we kind of like have a battle with, a competition, a, a rival, an enemy, even we can bury down the hatchets at the middle of the month. Because what's going to happen there is that we and they are going to see that this this competition is pointless nobody is going to win at the end we are actually only losing by not being in peace and therefore a peace treaty or, or, or a peace conditions are going to be met toward the middle of the month and simply we are going to have a much much more peaceful uh, experience moving on from there forward we can finally kind of like catch up our breath into our business or into our jobs now into our love life as well now when it comes to love life with those couple of cards uh now that i think of it could be that someone we hate or someone that hates us may have a total reversal on their emotions you know they hate us now they happen to love us uh, which is kind of like close to mind because you know old people say that boundary in between or the line in between hatred and love very very thin you know and before you know it you may cross it and someone may cross it as well with us and uh, should that be the case here towards the middle of the month uh, aquarius don't judge judge them rather too harshly uh it's uh you can be very very happy with that person and as i touched happiness here um the happiness under the energy of the sun is when you make other people's happy so if you have children um for example make them happy guys you are gonna feel tremendous happiness from it 
uh, buy them the console they want, you know, or the gadget they want, or sign them for whatever courses they want. To just make them happy, guys. I guarantee you, under that energy, you are going to be happy seeing their smile and, and their um, joyfulness out of it. Um, another thing it is that, um, what was I about to say? Oh, yeah that at the middle of the month of November, Aquarius, you're going to have that extreme sharp sense to know when it's time to act, should you have any opportunities. Some, most of us guys, they, we're just going to enjoy the beauty of life, but some of us as well are going to have uh, the uh, some kind of an opportunities towards the middle of the month and you're going to know exactly when and how to act and at what place as well to raise, uh, to raise the matter. And after this uh, really... Uh, can I put it, put it into words? Thriving and and and, and blossoming period. Uh, the um, after the middle of the month and towards the end of the month, the the full card manifests, which is going to be catalyzed by the death card. So we do have these two. And uh, first time I having this. So what happens after the middle of the month is um, basically the the newness is gonna find us, find us, and uh, I don't know if it's gonna be fortunate or, or unfortunate, but we do not have the say should we be a part of it or not. It's simply it's going to come about and uh, replace the emptiness whichever emptiness we do have into our life i just on the top the top of my head you do have thursday and and saturday evening um evenings free well after the middle of the month they ain't gonna be free anymore but on the plus side what is going to replace that free time or free space into our life is going to be something we at least at that given stage we are going to be thoroughly enjoying it. It's, it's just is going to present us with so much creative chaos for us to learn, for us to experiment, for us to experience as well. Uh, should that be in the social, uh, into the social field, like, you know, spending time with friends or new circles, new social circles, you will feel so spontaneous, so energetic, so uh, welcomed. It is the word. So no matter what kind of a personality you are, it is just that the, the whole atmosphere is going to be so, so welcoming and you are going to freaking love it. Um, should that be about your job? You are to be presented with, um, you know, for example, a new project that you have an opportunity to learn great deal of, uh, of new skills, knowledge and so on and so forth. Simply that is going to make you better at what you do, more qualified uh, to, to attack even bigger positions and so on and so forth. Um, love, at that point, you will feel like you can go or rather like you can reach a height of relationship like never before, like you haven't even dreamed of. Here the possibilities are as far as you make them or rather like your the, these cards shows literally that your life can be as big as your dreams okay and uh hopefully you do have a big one uh depending on where these two cards are gonna settle down but definitely uh if you kind of like if you do have some time to fill up or some places to fill up into your life they are going to be after the middle of the month and at the end of the month for you Aquarius uh, the nine of pentacles um, manifest for you which is catalyzed by the king of cups um you will be proposed you will have some kind of a proposal some kind of an offer very very tempting one at the end of the month uh, it's gonna be well tempting it's even um 
uh, how can I put it into words, doesn't even begin to describe it. Uh, that offer is going to be actually everything you have ever wanted, at least at that stage. Should that be an offer for a job, it's going to be the job you ever wanted. Should that be an offer for a romantic relationship, it's going to be from the person, from the type of person you have ever wanted. Should that be about uh, an offer for uh, you to be helped, it's going to be about the thing that you wanted help that it is a help you have ever wanted and so on and so forth. It's just <clears throat> this proposal that you're going to get at the end of the month is going to make your life so much easier and so much better. You can't even begin to think about it or to even imagine it. Now we can deny it, but there is no reason to do so. Well, I can think of you, for example, if you are happy with your current job, that's a reason to deny a new one. Or if you are already in love, that's a reason to deny an offer for a relationship. But if you are free, there is literally no reason. That, that offer, regardless under which what circumstances comes, if you take it, it's going to make your life better by a large margin, I mean by really, really a large margin. Uh, the company that is offering you job is going to pay you better and there are better conditions. Uh, the social circle that it is giving you some kind of an offer, if this is where the offer comes from, is going to present you with better experiences. And I don't even want to continue on um, talking about it. Uh, another thing about those couple of cards, it is that towards the uh, end of the month of November, we are going to feel extremely emotionally stable okay uh and uh literally from there on moving forward at least i don't know what is going to be about the month of uh, december but at least at the end of the month of november we are going to feel like we are on the top of the world literally and so with that said uh that is uh, our monthly tarot reading for november 2022nd for star sign aquarius Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it, guys. And we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.